What the Fox, everyone? I'm Haley Bright, and in this week's episode, Sonic Fox finds the right combination to win big at Combo Breaker, Jay Wong's legend looms large, and Mewtwo King fights Banana Boy. What the Fox? He did it! He made it happen! He made history! Biggest news of the week, at Combo Breaker 2018, on the final night of the competition in the final game of the tournament, Sonic Fox did the impossible and got revenge over Goichi in an epic Dragon Ball Fighters Grand Final. Talk about emotional! This was an intense victory for Sonic Fox as he surprisingly bested Goichi in the winner's final, then dropped the first match in the Grand Finals as Goichi reset the bracket. But then Sonic Fox roared back with a resounding 3-0 beatdown in the final set to thoroughly vanquish his nemesis. It was an amazing finish to a spectacular tournament and if you guys have been there you would have seen this the crowd freaking lost their minds when it happened before sonic fox's huge dbfc win though the fighting fox also grabbed third in injustice 2 second in Skullgirls, and second in the game that started it all for him mortal kombat 9. here's how the dbfc champ summed up the memorable memorial day weekend i'm lit right now all right i finally got one but this is the most important one for me what the of course, Sonic Fox wasn't the only Fox at Combo Breaker to throw down this past weekend. Now, all in all, Echo Fox had 10 players at this premiere event, and four of those talented gamers walked away with top eight finishes. Here's what went down. After defeating teammate and travel buddy JDCR, Saint went on to snag fourth place in Tekken, just barely missing out on a shot in the finals. He was just one punch away from victory. Scar had a strong showing in Mortal Kombat X, making his way all the way to the Grand Finals where he lost 3-2, finishing second. Great job, Scar. Now, the Kill Stage told us that he doesn't practice Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite very often, so it was definitely surprising that our new Fox made it to the Grand Finals undefeated through the winner's bracket. Now, unfortunately, Duel Kevin was able to reset the bracket and take first place from the Kill Stage, but still, that's a huge showing for the Kill Stage in what was an exciting final. Moving on to our man Jay Wong, he cruised through the competition in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, taking first place with a 3-0 beatdown in the Grand Finals. Jay Wong also took first in the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection Exhibition, where legends like Daigo Umahara, Ricky Ortiz, and Alex Valle battled it out across every single version of Street Fighter. A randomizer selected which version of Street Fighters the players would play for every matchup, and our legendary Fox added to his legacy as he took down his fellow legends in the special exhibition. Jay Wong forever. Shockingly, in Street Fighter V, however, our fighting foxes didn't fare so well. For the first time in a long time, no Echo Fox player made it to the top eight. Crazy, I know. Tokido placed ninth. Jay Wong took 17th. It was a rare but poor showing for Echo Fox, but Tokido still did well enough to hang on to first place in the Capcom standings. And I'm sure the boys will bounce back and be ready for CEO at the end of June. Now, we'll be posting the full recap of Combo Breaker soon, so make sure to check back with at EchoFoxGG on all of your social media accounts. While most of our FGC foxes were gathered in Illinois this weekend, our resident smash god Mewtwo King was riding solo at Momocon 2018. Despite his partner in crime being absent from the festivities, Mewtwo King secured top five finishes across the board, facing off against some of the fiercest competitors in the scene. Exhibit A, Hungrybox. Now his bloodthirsty stare, his malice-filled expressions, his insatiable appetite for wins, the dude is lethal. In the end, Mewtwo King couldn't conquer the beast and ended up finishing third place in melee singles, but he did clean up in melee doubles, placing first with his partner Wizrobe, and to double up on the doubles win, he took home a fifth place victory alongside Mr. R in Smash 4. What an unbelievable weekend for Mewtwo King. If only his Smash sidekick could be there with him. If you've seen MKLeo, please send an email to here he is I found him at AOL.org. What the fox? Everyone's favorite and only Battle Royale Pro League is still going strong six weeks in and our H1Z1 Foxes are looking to push through the middle of the pack. Set to Destroy X has been dominating the standings so far, but all it takes is one good round to flip everything on its head. So we're taking some action on our side. Our players just moved into a team house where I'm gonna make sure that they practice day in and day out. So you guys see a more synergized, polished Echo Fox team going forward. I think our fight for the top spot's just getting started. Speaking of which, let's see where our boys landed in the standings this week. See, what did I tell you? First place, here we go. That's our show guys, thanks for watching and now you know what the fox. I'm gonna leave you today with a clip from our weekly We Are Echo Fox Game Day series. It's an awesome show and this week our H1Z1 boys dished the dirt on their teammates. Check it out.
These guys are like the best team I've ever played with, you know? Everyone's just the best at what they do. Sloth is the guy with the black leather jacket, combing his hair back, looking cool for the ladies. He gets five kills. It was nothing. He's our biggest slayer. His role on the team is literally just looking for kills. Moralia. Crank, I hate that guy. Oh my god. Nah, no, jokes aside, Crank's pretty cool. He's a really cool guy.